I am hanging out in my sewing room. I have a couple things that I want to get done. First, I want to make a change to this dress. This is a new look dress that I actually made a couple years ago, but I pulled it out to wear it the other day and I heard some tape, some noise inside and I realized that it's a piece of tape that I left in the collar and I don't know how I did that. I never realized it until I got ready to wear it the other day and it was making all kind of crinkly noises and now I can't find it. Where did it go? Oh, there it is. It's like this weird, can you hear that? It's a weird crinkly tape noise. So I was like, okay, I need to take that out. And not only that, but the collar is kind of floppy. And I realized it when I first made it, but I was like, it'll be okay. But now since the noise is in there, the tape is in there, the collar is floppy. So I said, okay, I'll just go ahead and take the collar off. So that's what I am going to do. I'm going to take my seam ripper, get busy taking that off. The other thing that I want to do is cut McCall's 8096. I'm interested in making view C, but I didn't purchase any fabric. I want to cut the pieces out and then kind of place them on some scraps and see if I can make this top happen out of some of my scraps. So that would be kind of fun. And then I want to share with you this Simplicity pattern that I made. This is Simplicity 9388. It took me a while to pick up this pattern. I just wasn't so sure that I wanted it, but I kept staring at it and kept thinking about it. So I was like, okay, I will just go ahead and get it. And I'm so glad that I did. I made view A. I have it right here. I used some scrap fabric for the inside lining because the yokes are lined. I also like to use scrap fabric for the pockets. So I did that also. Use some denim. And then I just used some silver buttons, which are kind of like buttons you would find on a denim jacket. So I made an extra small. The jacket has upper front pockets. There is a collar. The front button, so you can wear it open, you can wear it closed. There is a pleat on the sleeve and a button also. I decided to lengthen my jacket by about five and a half inches. There's also a pleat in the back and there's cuffs on the sleeves. I did want to mention in the directions, step number 16 and step number 21 will have you do the burrito method, but it doesn't tell you that that's what it is. So if you find that you're having difficulty, maybe you can look up how to do the burrito method and maybe that will help make everything a little bit easier. Now, if I ever make this pattern again, I will lengthen the front placket. I noticed that the front placket was just a little bit too short. And I think if it was lengthened, maybe about an inch and a half, that would kind of make up for the shortage. So before I go, I want to leave you with a love share of a book that I've been reading about draping. So if you are interested in draping, I think this will be a really good book to get started. I have never done draping before, and this is really walking me through how to get started as a beginner, and it's teaching me a lot. I'm only on page 92, but so far so good, so I wanted to share it with you in case you're interested. And I will put a link in the description below.